Hello, welcome back to How to Bloke. Now today we've got a little job repairing this oven, electric oven here. The element has blown on it, which means that this, this thing here, this thing here, which we're going to, this is the new one. And this is a, the, the ring that heats up the, up the bottom oven of this thing. Now this is a, a Bico DVC6531. And this element is pretty universal in many DVC, um, many Bico uh, or Beco, Bico DVC models. So, but you just have to check. I got this one from Amazon. So, uh, okay. So this one, I, I, I've, I've done it before, or oh, many moons ago. So we'll have to do it again. Excuse the state of the oven inside, but you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> But until you get down there and have a look, you don't uh, you don't realise how 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 bad it is sometimes. But it's not greasy bad. It's just uh, a few carbonised bits at the bottom of it. Don't worry about it. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna I was gonna show you how to check and check and uh, check and change this thing. Uh, make sure before you start that you turn the electricity off. Isolate the thing at the fuse board or consuming unit. You've got to do that, otherwise you're going to get risk. Electric shock, burns, or anything else. So you know, use use your noddle. And if you, if you're uh, a little bit intoxicated with anything, you need your wits about you. Understand? You need you need to be compass mentis. And uh, you don't need to be in a rush to do this either. Take your time. Leave. leave it's not going to take an hour to do it, but leave an hour to do it. Okay. So now we're going to access the the. The, the compartment where that thing where that thing sits, and you'd think it'd be around the back, wouldn't you? But it's not. It's at the front. So we're going to go in here. Now at the top, there's a panel here. Uh, this thing here. Now there's a fan. You probably can't see that very well, but there's a fan there. What we're going to tell you is we're going to take these screws off of here. There's two there. Sorry, there's one there and one there, and then that that panel should like um, fall away. Or lift off. I can't remember which what it actually does. It does one or the other. So let me undo this screw here. That there's the oven light. Obviously, you can only do this when the when the oven is cold. You don't want to be in here. Uh, you, you, it's blown. You have to wait till it's cooled right down. It's still stone cold. Remember, no electricity. Under no circumstances must you have this plugged in. You must isolate the unit from the electricity supply before you start any works, anything at all. Right. So these are self-tapping screws I'm undoing here. Um, not so easy, but we'll get there in the end. Now, what you might have to do, we've taken the trays out here. You know, the trays that slide in here. We'll, we're going to have to think, we're going to have to take, oh maybe not, no we're all right, we're all right. Now, take that cover, put it down so we're safe without making a noise. Now you can see there, look, see that, there's the round, uh, round thingy bob. That's the thing that's blown, you wouldn't better see, necessarily, you wouldn't better see what, uh, where the blow, the, the, the where the damage is, it wouldn't like have a big burn mark or anything on it. But I'll show you how to test it just to be 100% sure what it's what. This is the thermostat here on the right hand side. That looks um, that looks to be okay. Yeah, still good. Okay, so don't you don't want to uh, clean that up with anything too rough. Leave it alone. Right, so we're gonna now we're gonna go in the back of the machine to undo. There's two screws here. You can't see them probably. Let me focus this thing on here. There. There's two screws there. One there and one there. Now we have to, those are at the back, so we have to loosen that and uh, pull it forward. So I'll come back once I've done that. There's a cover, cover at the back here, which we've got to take this off. This off and uh, so we can get at the... At the uh, at the electrical thing that we need to take off. So, there we go. Now, 
what we've got to do is find the screws for the element which is there now I can see them but you probably can't so what we're going to have to do I think this one is there and the other one is there so what we're going to have to do is to just switch you off until I've had a look right well, I've had a look at the back now, and I can reach one of the screws of uh, that ring. I can reach the top one easily with my screwdriver, no problem. But the bottom ring, I can't get on it because the, um, of this thing in the way. So I need to do, I can't find a way of getting, taking, moving this away. So I'm going to have to take this off and then try and move that. There's some screws there, I can unscrew it, and then I can get at the bottom ring so I'm going to do that I'm going to go around here and unscrew this there's not many screws I think there's maybe five or six or... so I'm going to do that try not to lose them like I do there's one down here make sure you're not unscrewing something you don't need to because it's a waste of time Waste of time and uh, and it's, uh, there's a couple more down here. One here. I mean, this happened so long ago. I mean, more than I well, probably. These things like these elements last. Quite a lot. It must have been more than five years ago, more, more, seven, eight years ago that uh, I last did this. And uh, I use the oven every day. So, let's see if that, that moves around. I've got to do this top ones here. These are all. Yeah, these are all self-tapping screws here. So, let's try it now. Right, we've still got one holding on. There's that one there. Can you see it? That one there. Self tapper. Oh, that's a longer one. Yeah, that's a longer one. So now okay. So now we can get at the back of this with just enough space, just enough space. That's where we need to get to. And I could have reached this one here. This one's, the oh, weight's come out of here. We'll put that back in a minute. This is, um, we could reach this top one easily, but this bottom one here you can't get until you take this off. Um, there's probably an electrician washing this going, you know, where you know, you know shortcut it but I, don't, can't, I can't think of a way of doing it so so now we can access this bottom screw just there there just loose now now we've got to take these terminals off here these connectors so we're going to use a thick pair of thin nose pliers if my assistant could get them for me please loosen up now you've got to get these wires back properly okay the right way around so remember where they go. Now, let's take a little bit of light off of that. The earth is in the middle, you can see that, look, the green and the yellow there, so that's the middle one. The bottom one is the brown, the live one, okay? So let's pull that off. Carefully. Okay, so, so remember, bottom brown, bottom brown. 
the yellow top and the green of the earth is in the middle. Okay, so you know which which way to put to to uh, to put put it when you put it back. Right, let's undo these screws here. It's quite simple, really. I mean, given that you don't have to replace this uh, element too often, you know, it's not too too much of a a palaver getting this doing this. I wouldn't want to do this every year, but thankfully it's. Uh, not necessary. A good little oven as well this, this uh, is lasting a long time. Served me well. Other ovens I've earned, earned in, in since I've been using this have, 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 have gone. They've, they've died and you know never to be you can still get the spares for these things quite uh, quite easily. Right now if, now this is loose now look so it's going to be loose on the other side so we're going to go and get that out Come round here, camera please. Now the screws that came out just now, they weren't self-tappers like the rest, they were ones, the ordinary ones like that, you see? So those have got to go back in, so don't lose those. And uh, we'll sort that out in a minute. So, okay, we're gonna go back around here. On this side. And we can see in there that this thing will just pull out like that. That's the old one, okay? That's the old one. You're thinking, well, it looks all right, but so how do you know then it's it's blown then? Because you can't see anywhere. There's no sort of bubble or anything. Well, you can test it with a a multimeter. I'll show you how to do that. Right. So now the objective. Here. Oh. Right. Let's go over here. So it's probably not a good surface, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me get a, a, another different surface. Right, here's a different surface for you. Right, that's the old one. Now I'm gonna get our trusty multimeter on here, set it to ohms, and we're gonna measure how many ohms is going from the positive to the negative. Right, so we're going to test it there and we're going to see there's absolutely nothing. That, that's the ohm signal on there, but just to make sure it's working. Put your fingers across and you should settle down to 0, 0, 0.2 or 0. So just test the ohms are working. Yeah, that's good enough. So. There's no resistance there at all between the negative and the positive. Now, this is a resistor. It's like a light bulb, you know, it lights up. Well, this one doesn't give out um, red heat, white heat, or whatever. It's just dark, no, it's black heat. So, but you need some resistance in this coil. Without it, you will never, never get high enough for Sundays. So, again, zero. It's almost as if this is a complete loop. Somehow the resistance is just as one. Yep, that's, now, if you compare that to a new one, look, it's a new one, make sure it's kind of a similar, similar kind of thing. Yeah, that's, that'll be the, do the job. I'm sure of it. There's a slight modification here that, that, I haven't got anything for that on, on my oven, so but it won't make any difference, I don't think. Um, anyway, let's test, let's test the resistance on here, okay, so ohms. Right, test of the resistance here. 30 ohms. So that's that's a new one. Alright, so a new one. Old one. Nothing. New one again. 30 ohms. Perfect. Now I don't know if 30 ohms is exactly what it should be, a manufacturer would know that. And I'll probably if you need to make several phone calls and uh, I mean for example these things very, really, really, uh, they, they normally just stop working and something inside them goes wrong and they don't offer any resistance anymore. But now, so we know we can confirm that that, that is duff, that is dead. They're ready for the, uh, 
to be recyclable. So this one, we're going to put this one back. So, we're going to go in here and we're going to poke this into here again. So, now this is the tricky bit, only because it's fiddly to get out. It's fiddly, fiddly. Fiddly, fiddly. And so, we're going to put that, see that hole there, look, you see? That's where it's got to go. So we're going to put it like that. Let's put it on there. These are superb torches, by the way. I'll talk to more, more about these torches in another episode. But. So that is going to go in there like that. You see? Just like that. No problem. Can be done. So let's go around the other side. with here is putting the jigsaw puzzle I'm gonna get my own back on this right so let's put these now remember the screws that went in are these ones are no, no, not soft tappers they are um, they are ordinary screws so now it's useful if you've got a little magnet to uh, excuse me, camera lady, could you shine your back torch on there so I can see, so I can hold it and see what I'm doing as well. Um, otherwise, I need to be uh, arms like an octopus. Right. So there should be some holes here. screwing into I think. Is that right camera? Can you see that I'm screwing into it? Not quite. Not quite. Okay. Not quite. Okay. Right. Where's that one gone? Where's the screw gone? It's not tricky, you might need to get some help with this. It's just a question of lining up the two holes on an angle where you can't see what you're doing. I've got it in the, I've got the thread started now, so I'm cooking on gas or rather on electric. Okay, so that's the first one. And don't do them up too tight yet, just get them aligned, get the second one in. And then you can tighten them up, once you've got both of them in, you can tighten them up to, to fully tight. But don't do that first. Get them in the holes and lined up first. Sorry, lined up and screwed into some a short way. So, this one again, I can't see exactly. It's there somewhere. What happened to the screw? So. Now I can see the hole, I can see, I've got the screw from the end of the driver, and I can see the hole, and for some reason, it's not going in there neat and tidy. Okay, well, I've done it now. So, I'm holding it with the right hand and screwing it with the left is not my uh, usual way of doing it, but nevertheless, it's doing it's doing the job. Okay. Right now we're going to tighten it up fully. So we're going to get some torque on that screw and do it with both hands. Fingertips and palms of both hands if you can. 
I say not a great deal of room to work in here, but it's doable, you know, I'm doing it. And you can see what's going on. So give it a nice big wind up because fans, when it's, this has got a fan in it, when it turns, it does create a little bit of vibration, but you don't want those screws coming undone because of that. So check both again, yeah, nice and tight. Okay, only got two screws in it. Right, so going back to these wires now, what did we say it was? Green in the middle, that's your, isn't it? Brown bottom. Brown bottom. And top yellow. Top yellow. Okay, well, I'll put the earth in the middle because that's going to be the most difficult one to reach before. So that's on there, nice. Just check it, make sure. The red is on the bottom, sorry, the brown bottom. That's the live on the bottom. And the yellow on the top. Wow. And that's how it was when we took it off. So now we've got to put the thing back again. Now, this doesn't take long. Let's put this insulation back here. A little bit. So that should be all. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, that should be fine. Um, okay, let's put it back. So we're going to put this thing back now. Um, do I want the the weights back in there, yes I do. There's a screw for that somewhere. Now which way around does it go? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, hang on. I must that's the screw hold up. It's going to be easier. Like that. So. Now there's balance weights on this thing here. Oh, I've lost the screw. There's balance weights on this 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 thing. It's a piece of concrete, and. Um, that long screw I took out was the screw that holds that piece off, so I didn't know that. So I was going to have to find that long screw, there it is, and screw it back on. I thought that was part of holding the, it was holding the, uh, the back of it on, but it's not. It's just holding that weight on, keeping it, keeping it there. I'm guessing that the weights is used there for to stopping the thing vibrating when, if, uh, when the fan turns it probably causes some vibration so it's a good thing that the manufacturers have thought about that so we're going to screw this back on there like that so that's nice and tight okay that's it that's in right, so that's that's the weight that's there Okay, now we're going to put this back on here. And it goes underneath this thing, like that. So, now we're going to put this back in here. You used to like Meccano as a boy, then you love this. Right, so that's not going back properly. Well, it is, it's okay, but it's not as, not as good as it was. That's quite good. You know, that's good, as long as it doesn't poke out like that, it's, 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 uh, it's good. Right, so, what we're going to do, actually, is to take Come on. 
weights might be useful, but putting it back with the weights on it. Right ah, success. Okay, we're all right. We're cooking on gas now. So there's a bit of jiggling, but it's going back in the end. Right, let's get some screws in. So, let's put some screws in. Let's put one in the middle. As I say, I don't know how long this uh, camera is. How long has the video been running, please? Well, we cut it off three minutes ago, so. So it cuts it off three minutes ago, what does that mean? It got, it got cut three minutes ago, so I don't know. Oh, okay, got it. So we don't know the total time. But, yeah, you've got to allow at least an hour for this kind of thing. You know, if you, if you want to go out somewhere or something, yeah, don't bother. Don't do it, because you're going to get frustrated, and it's going to go wrong, and you're going to... Get something going wrong, you're going to connect it, you're going to lose a screw. You know, you know what happens, you're trying to rush things, so don't do it. Have plenty of time. Right, again, don't don't tighten these up like mega. Don't tighten them up mega, just tighten up, just loosely put them in so they're sitting in there and uh, they're not um, they're not actually tightened up because we need to move this back plate around. It's only pressed the sheet still, so it's got a mind of its own until it's riveted or screwed like this. That's the thing. So, right, we're looking for some more screws, which I'm probably sitting on. Aha, uh -huh. yes I am. So we're going to go with the bottom ones now. I'm going to go with the bottom ones. Too easy, you know when something's too easy, and you think, oh, wait a minute, it shouldn't be this easy. Well, that just happened. So I always went wrong. Hopefully nothing. So, let's get all the time up a little too much here. Let's check back on, turn that back on. So we need to make sure these are not super duper tight until we've got them all in. the skill difficulty here? I don't know. You've got to be a, um, you've got to be a DIYer. You haven't got to be an electrician. But you've got to know something about... You've got to have patience. That's one thing you've got to have. If you don't have patience, then um, don't even attempt to get an electrician in to do it. Normal electricians don't do it, I don't think. They do. They get some specialist ones. Um, some... Um, Guys that just work on appliances uh, normally. Um, what have we got? Oh, this one here. That one down there. I think I've got a screw. From, uh, I've got a screw. Excess screw here. I don't know where that one goes. excess screw, I don't know where it's supposed to go. That's alright. Right. Don't forget, on, the, on top of there, you're not going to put that against the wall because you've got you got a plastic cover like that, so don't worry about it too much. I just thought earlier it was poking out too much, but it's alright. It's uh, not it's uh, not bad. And once you're down here, you know, if, if uh, the other thing is you can give it a little bit of a clean out, a little bit of a hoover out. In fact, we're going to go and get the uh, hoover and do that now. So, if you can go and get that, the hoover, please, camera person. Right, okay, as I was saying, the, once, whilst you're down there, you may as well have a look around, do some hoover out of these 
these vents here, these ventilation things there, because they've bit, got a bit of a flock in there and uh, gubbins. And uh, right, so we've got to um, just we've got all the screws now. We're just going to tighten them up. There's no sequence involved with this, unlike a, unlike a car. Um, car camshaft or um, a head, you just tighten them up like that. So, once you've got them all tight, see the thing is if you tighten one or two, tighten them up, that's fully tight to start with, you couldn't, you, perhaps you could manoeuvre the rest of them, the, the, the rest of the of the cover because it be it might be off just a little bit but enough so as you couldn't get the self-tapping screw in so it's a good idea as I keep saying right on about get them all the screws all started and and then tighten them all up at the end. So right it's all tight all done. Right now we've got to go back to this thing. You must got, you must put this back. It's, it's not there for looking pretty. It's a safety thing. So this is stop this coming in contact with anything. So what we need to do is stick it in. You know, stick it in. Let's just pop it up first. Okay. So we've got to go in there. It's no good this one. It's the bottom, bottom tab that's been a bit troublesome to get back in there. So you're going to have to hold it up and with one foot to stop it moving. And then that's it. Right, I've got it in there. There's two tabs that sit in the bottom like that. And the shape in the, in the, the T, you've got to get the things in. Otherwise, it's got, that acts as a hinge. You see, look, see that? Yeah. And then you kind of press it back in like that, like that, that's flat, that's perfect, here we are, camera ready if you can just zoom up to this please, you see that, that, that's, that is nothing, you can't get a screwdriver beneath there like, that's how it's got to be, so don't, don't, um, don't bodge it when you put it back, make sure it's on properly, it's a safety thing, it's a safety thing there, so, that's good, right, I think we're ready, now, so we're just checking around, see what's what. Yeah, it looks it looks so good. There's a couple of screw, screws missing now for this. I don't know why, because I've used all the screws out. Maybe it's uh, maybe they weren't there to start with. But anyway, so going back here. Now we're going to test. We're going to test the uh, test the thing. We're going to put the cover back first. I think that's a good idea. Now, there's the cover, and the screws for it are. So we're going to put our cover cover back on this thing and you can see there's two, two tabs, it sits like that, look, that's how it looks in the back of the oven like that and there's two tabs that go in the slots at the bottom and then you've got two screws at to the top, one, two, okay? So I'm going to put that back and see, what's that, a piece of foil, okay, so you need a torch in here to do this, you can't do it without a torch you might better see in the dark, but not that much. No, it's not that, not that much. Okay. So. This has got to go on there, which is done. And this has got to see if the holes line up. Yeah, they do. That's good. That's a good sign. 
Right, with my screws, I'm going to put those two screws back in. Put some light on in here. Um, just get another torch going. Another torch going here. There we are. So maybe we can see that a bit better. So, hey. <clears throat> no, I'm getting too old for this, you know. I really am. So I don't know how long we've been doing it now. Like four, 45 minutes, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. Something like that. So again, tap self tappers. The same size as the ones that go on the back. So if you do put in the, change them around, I'll be doing any difference. The same ones you've got on the back. This is the cover for the fan and the heating element. And uh, that's it. Now of course. If you're um, if you're if your um, your light is gone, your oven light at the top here is gone. Now is the, now is the time to change it. And you change it by unscrewing that thing, that light, and screwing the lens there. Look, see, that's 25 watt maximum 25. I know this one's working all right. So sometimes it can be a bit troublesome to move because it gets very dry. Um, but yeah, persevere with it. I mean, if your oven's super, super dirty, you might want to uh, get, you know, get the oven clean before you do this anyway. But uh, that's so that screws back in there. Right now. You have to screw it back super tight, just tight. And uh, There we go, right, so, there we have it. Now, we're gonna switch the uh, electricity back on at the consumer unit, at the fuse board, and give it a test, and you'll be able to see. So, shoot, the, put the, 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 the thing down there, camera ready, and we should have Now the power's now back on as you can see. Here's the thing just to, to get that to just stop for a minute, just press those two buttons there like that. Okay, so now we're going to switch it on. I don't know if you can hear that. So I'll give it a few moments to heat up and we'll see if we've got any heat. Meanwhile I'm going to wash my hands. It's hot. It's hot. It's 35 degrees outside at the moment. I've had to switch the, some of the electrical systems off so I can uh, isolate this and now I can put them back on again. Oh. So, even the camera lady's hot. It must be hot. He's never hot. Okay, right, you can probably hear, smell something a bit you know, oily, kind of like a new smell that you haven't smelled before. This is the, 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 the coating that the, the, fab, the manufacturer puts on the element that, when it ships it. Right, that smell soon goes. And if you've got that smell, it means it's water's going, water's working. Oh yeah, and that's getting hot. That's getting hot, as it should do. Well. So just to recap then, this is um, this is the heating element for. Um, can you zoom into that one? Yes, please, come ready, person, please. For that, for that, that mark there. Uh, so this is an old oven. It's more than this is an old oven, more than 20 years old, I guess. So they don't make this model anymore, probably. But anyway, if you if you're if you've got one of these, and, and then the element looks similar to what I showed you earlier on, you can do it yourself if you want to. Of course, obviously. If you don't feel, having watched this video, if you don't feel that you can do it, then, then do it. Get an electrician to do it, don't do it. Um, of course, you must remember, don't do it if you're uh, intoxicated in any way. Don't do it if you don't know how to switch it off. Leave it early. You cannot do it with electricity on. You must be switched off, 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 off. You will burn yourself, you will electrocute yourself. Do not do it. 
off the electricity. And you've got to leave plenty of time. There's no point rushing it. There's no point rushing it. You can't, oh, I've only got half an hour to do it. I must do it in half. No, hour, minimum, hour. That way you, you, you're nice to relax. You're not worrying about it. And do it at a time when the oven's not required. You know, something mid-afternoon, mid-morning or something like that. So there you have it. That's my, um, that's my DIY tip for today. Hope you've enjoyed the, the show. Um, there's more uh, DIY tips uh, to the top left, or I don't know, bottom left. Anyway, you'll find your way around this this, this screen. Uh, top left is my uh, menus, my cooking uh, cooking shows. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, channel then just uh, hit the uh, how to bloke icon on the, uh, down here. Uh, until next time.